Yes, Doctor. You wanted to speak with me about the, the health of the fur coat? Well, I've been taking the fur coat to therapy for the last three months. I, I hope you've been able to help to help it. I mean, we have contracts and studios and all kind of things going on, so I, I hope, I hope indeed that you've been able to say something that is to snap it out of the lethargy it seems to have fallen into. Yes. It's home life. Well, I suppose I haven't been taking it out and, and brushing it and looking at, at it as much as I used to. Neglected, huh? Did it tell you that? Oh. You just guessed. Well, I suppose it could be, with all the, you know, the bodyguards and the studio people coming and going and the fans. It might feel neglected, I don't know. But, hmm, you think its health is in danger? Uh-huh. Well... Well, maybe a vacation, or maybe a raise, something like that to cheer it up. Oh. oh, it's about, um, four years old. Yes, I, I used to love it very dearly. Back when I was poor, I used to imagine all the coats I would have if only I was rich. And I got the fur coat and it just chanced to be seen in the malt shop. And the rest is history. It became a star. And I became its understudy, its lackey, the clothes horse. Don't you see, Doctor? I am under a great strain, too. The coat. <sighs> Give up the career? But I mean, this is a golden opportunity. This is a time to make hay for retirement. It has. The fur coat? It's been hanging out with the wrong crowd? It told you it smokes? I don't believe it. I can't believe it. The fur coat was always very happy. Smoking will ruin, will ruin the lining in it. Not to mention it could catch fire. And then where would I be? Hmm. I do see the point. You think we, we need each other. Be kinder. I can remember back when the fur coat was new, how happy I was. And how happy it was.